Yeah, I've given you a little demonstration, just watch. I'm going to start at the end, just to get it going. You can get my finger on it. And it, it helps sometimes to leverage it. And I'm going to pull that around. See, the, the tips, the it's very handy to have on this part. Turn it a little bit, right, and leverage it open. Mm. Now you can see the double helix inversion. Oh. See? A little bit, pull it in. And what I've effectively done is that I'm shifting the edges, and as you shift the edges, the axis centers. Now if I keep shifting too much, it'll go back to a coiled state. Except that what was the inside will be now the outside, and what was the outside will now be. So you've reversed the coil in a manner of speaking. Is that how you reverse directions on some of the pieces? Yes, and in fact, it's not what you do in yeah. a ruffle, you go one way or the other. But when you open, you'll see the ruffle, it's really fun to watch. What you do is that you open it, you start the way I'm doing, but then you keep going and going and going and you come all the way around. And so what's happened, you keep shifting, shifting, shifting until it buckles into the other direction. See, that's, that's how it's... Wow, that's could you pass it around yeah, while sure. it's in that state? Thank you. It's very fun. So, so you're basically okay. leaning into this so that that yeah, curve just using remains it. its integrity yeah. as... Now, I can do this just with my fingers, but 